Okay, we're gonna start over here at my filming desk. And if you see the stuff over here to the left, um, that's my living room. We just moved into this house back in May. So um, yeah, that's a whole nother video. But if you see the stuff over there, we currently have our living room as a playroom for our son. So if I show it, I'm not trying to show it because it's not decorated. Like I said, it's a playroom. But anyways, this is my filming desk and um, I have several lights. These two lights are pretty good, um, but they give a yellow cast, so I'm gonna replace them eventually. And then these two lights, they're very fancy looking, but they suck, trust me. And then I have this arm, this very <laughs> rigged, you see all that tape, all this, it's very unprofessional, but I'm not a professional, so I just use what I have. So this is an arm right here that I use for my iPad because I uh, film on my iPad Pro. And then this stand right here, um, that actually is the stand to um, my wig stand because I do make uh, my own like wigs that I wear. So yeah, it's a whole nother thing. And then this arm right here is when um, I eventually will um, film like my face on my videos. So yeah, that's what that's for. And then this is my computer desk. We have uh, two screens, me and my husband share this computer. This is actually his computer. Um, I was working off of my laptop to edit videos, but um, it was a very old like 2013 laptop. Um, what was it, a MacBook Pro, and yeah, it it wasn't getting the job done. So I retired that, and my husband was so gracious enough to um, put his computer over here so that I could use it to edit videos and stuff. So this is what I use, it's a Windows PC. He built it himself, so I can't give any specs on that. But um, this is basically what my setup looks like when I'm recording, so my water bottle, I'll have some remotes for my lights, um, this is the baby monitor that I'm always talking about. Behind that is a, uh, what is it? It's like a Polaroid printer. That's my selfie printer. That is an iPhone 5 that I let my son play with. And then um, chapstick, some lashes. Uh, don't ask me why I have lashes right there. Yeah, I just, yeah. And then a coloring book for any, um, kids that come over that want to see like my area because they think it's like really uh, colorful and stuff when I have my markers and stuff. When I, once I get to my cart, you'll see. But yeah, basically that's that. And then down here, um, let's see, down here is just some, um, just some extra filming equipment. You see that? And then, um, right here. I don't know what that is. I think it's the legs to this desk. Anyways, um, this right here is extra wax paper that I use to pre-plan my stickers. And these are the pre-planned stickers that I use. So um, this right here is a cover that I use for when I get cold. But if you guys watch my videos, I always have on my robe because I record in the middle of the night like I am right now after my baby falls asleep. So um, that's just like if my legs get cold or something. Um, these are just calculators. Okay, so that's my filming desk. And then this right here is um, just like my working desk. So whatever, if I need extra space to do anything, um, this is what I'll typically do. But typically um, I'll have my laptop right here or if I'm working on my iPad Pro or something like that, I'll use this desk because um, each one of these desks has like a specific purpose. And this one is just like open to whatever, oh, that lighting. Um, to whatever I need it to be. So that's a notebook I keep. It's just a mini, um, mini wrong, wrong, happy notes that came out a couple months ago, pin jar, all the little office supplies and stuff. This is a Amazon laminator. This is like a little decorative mailbox that I got from the Target dollar spot. And then of course tissue that is a my trash bag. And then right here is where I keep all of my extra washi. Um, well, I shouldn't say extra. Um, this is all my 
holiday and themed washi. So open it up for you guys. So right here is kind of like where I have all of my birthday themed washi. So you kind of see like where it says party, it has a whole bunch of balloons. And then down here, I have them all separated into like Ziploc bags. This is my Christmas washi. Um, and then this is just like um, plaid type of washi for Christmas. Valentine's washi. Um, if somebody's getting married type washi. Um, baby girl type washi. So you kind of get it. This is like my themed washi, my holiday washi. So that's where I keep that. This is my kind of like planner desk. So this has all of my planner supplies that I need to um, just create off camera. Um, this is where I do it. So um, right here is just a, let me see, a uh, washi storage container. So I have my washi stored by a uh, color. Um, yeah, so you see that. And then these are some decorative little bits and bobs. And then this is where I have, uh, I keep my business expense receipts. And then of course, decorative scissors. They have like the little pattern on them to cut with. And the focus, you can see that. So I never use these. I just mainly have this jar right here just to keep these scissors on hand. And then these are some pliers that I use in order to, um, I just use them here and there for different things that I need. Um, but they're mostly for my Etsy business, but I'm just using them down here right now. So this right here has all of my, um, my mouth liners. And then these are erasable highlighters. And I plan to do a planning essentials. This is just what I like to keep at, on hand. Um, but this hole right here is to like let wires through, which is very convenient, but I don't need it right now. And then this right here has all of my Sharpies. And then this is my dry erase, um, not dry erase, my wet erase markers for whenever I want to use them for those wet erase boards that Happy Planner has. And then these are my like decorative little scissors or whatever. And then this is just a coaster for when I have a drink over here. Um, I don't typically eat or anything when I'm planning, um, but I do like to have like a bottle of water or something. Um, this right here houses all of my skinny washi. This is actually a recent pickup. Um, and like I said, it just houses all of my skinny washi. So that, I don't really have that much. And you will notice that I don't have any Simply Gilded washi. Um, I don't know, I just haven't fell down that rabbit hole yet, thankfully. So yeah, um, this right here houses all of those, remember those rolls that Happy Planner came out with? Well, yeah, I bought a couple of them. Um, honestly, I don't really use them, but I do wanna use all of the things in 2020. So these will eventually get used. It's just, I haven't used them yet. So I keep them in here and keep them on my desk. Um, to have readily available for whenever I do want to use them. And then this right here is just like a little skinny notes for whenever I want to take notes at this desk. Um, and yeah, and then I just have a second washi storage. This uh, right here is just like all of my colorful washi. And then this is like food. And then that's like summer beach Hawaiian vibes. Um, and then this right here is all of my baby boy uh, themed washing because I have a little boy. And this is all my gold and rose gold. And then this is all of my black and silver and gray. Okay, so right here, this is where I keep all of my planner accessories. So I want to take that off and it's probably going to fall. So give me a second. Oh, it didn't fall. Okay, so this is basically, like I said, all of the um, 
accessories. So I have like mini um, dashboards. I have envelopes. Um, I just have all the different kind of things. So mini classic. Um, I keep the wrappers just in case, you know, I take it out. So the journaling stencils go in there, but they're currently uh, somewhere. I think they're on my planner desk. Um, the dry erase boards, I got the, the mom life ones. They're currently in my house planner. So they're not in there, but I did want to keep the packaging. I didn't end up using the Christmas extension pack that came out this year, um, but it's undated. So I'm probably, I'm going to use it at some point. And then you have like your different extension packs. So this is a dashboard. Yeah, dashboard. That's the budget. And then this is the, don't let me lie to you. I don't know what that, what extension pack that is. Um, these are two teacher extension packs or teacher checklist extension packs. And then um, I have some classic daily inserts. I have a whole bunch of um, extra uh, folders from the budget extension packs because I use those a lot. Um, and then these are the like the Miss Maker folders. I really like the Miss Maker line like all of the doodles and the um, drawings and illustrations and stuff. Um, I just couldn't really get with the layout of that planner. It wasn't for me, but it was really pretty. I really liked it. Um, and then this right here, I have the custom cover where you can like your DIY cover, I mean, um, but I just haven't used it yet. I intended to use it for Christmas, but since I didn't set up a Christmas planner, it never got used, but I will use it. And then these are like, the pocket cards that go in these page protectors. So yeah, that's that. And then we'll go right here. Um, what is this? This I've showed in the video before, but this is basically, um, this is basically where I keep a little bit of all of the, what is it? Uh, the journaling pads or the notes pads or whatever that I get from the Target dollar spot. I'll keep them in here like a little bit in here to one, see all the things that I have. So I won't buy more of the same thing. So like this is like summer. So when I go in Target and I see something really cute, um, I won't pick it up because I already know that I have notepads for it. So yeah. And then in the back, I'll keep a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the half sheets, the happy planner half sheets. So, so that way I know what I have and I won't buy more. So this is like all the different ones that I have. Um, so Unless it's like something really unique and something that I could really see myself using, I've kind of slowed down on buying Happy Planner accessories until just until I use up what I have. This color is just not focusing. And I typically don't wear my shoes in the house, but this floor is cold. Or I shouldn't say this floor, I should say this house. But we like it like that. We like it at 69 degrees. Um, okay, and then this is kind of like a makeshift uh, binder that I made to house all of my sticky notes. So this is why I don't, like unless it's something unique, I don't buy sticky notes anymore, or at least not right now, because as you can see, and these are all from the Target dollar spot for the most part. So as you can see, I have a lot. I can make my own little DIY sticky notes dashboard for days. So I just, and then um, this paper right here is just a pack of um, plain white cardstock that I got from, I'm gonna say Joann's. And all I did was take the sticky notes out of their packaging and just stick it to this page. And that's my sticky notes book. 
nothing fancy, but it definitely works. It definitely allows me to see what all I have. <clears throat> This is difficult with one hand. Okay, so that is that. And then the next thing on that shelf was this. I think I've showed this in the video too. This houses um, basically, um, I don't wanna say all of, yeah, um, just a little bit of my different types of filler paper. So if you can see that's dot grid, and then it just has like that type of, um, the different like uh, decor in the binding or around the umbrellas or mushrooms, whatever you want to call it. And then just some line paper. So again, this just houses a little bit of all of the fill paper. So I have it, I always have it at hand and I don't have to constantly get up and get more fill paper. So that's that book. And then this book is, um, I just recently created this. So this is what I'm basically using in order to test the new stickers, like the functionality of the new stickers that are um, that have been coming out from Happy Planner. So I haven't posted any of the videos where I'm doing the sticker test, um, but at some point I will show them or will post them. Um, it's me just basically testing the functionality of sticker books, like the home body and stuff like that. So um, that's basically what it is. It's me testing the sticker functionality on the different types of layouts. So for example, you have the monthly view and then you have uh, what the dashboard layout. You have the monthly checklist layout. And then I really only tested on the checklist portion. Um, I haven't done it on this page because I mean, it's kind of open, so there's really no point. Um, so I mostly test it on this page just to show you like the sizing of it in the monthly planner. And then this is the three box vertical layout that I'll show. And then this is the horizontal. Um, I especially was testing the horizontal sticker book stickers on here. So this actually came in handy. And then um, the teacher layout and then the student layout. So those are all of the different layouts that I have bought in the past. Um, and I'm just collecting them, collecting unused portions of those planners um, just to show you the functionality of the stickers and how they would look in your planner if you were to buy that sticker book. So again, I haven't posted any of those videos where I'm showing you that, but they will be up eventually. You guys are going to be like, this is so old, but I did the video, I worked on it, and I'm going to post it. So <clears throat> yes. Okay. So this one is, um, I think I've showed it in a recent video. This is basically a binder of, or a planner folder, whatever you want to call it. It basically shows all of the different pieces of planners that I could use. So miscellaneous layout. So in the first initial planner girl line, they used to come with extra pages in the back. So like this was the pages that came in the back of the OG, um, OG glam girl. So I had that and then there's like some other stuff. I think this one came in the back of super mom. I want to say from this, just winging it. But anyways, so yeah, so what's another one? Meal plan layouts from the home extension pack. I have that in there. Um, just some pieces of the vertical layout. I think this was the first boho dreams, I wanna call it. It was something like that. The first boho planner that Happy Planner came out with back in 2018. Um, so yeah, this it was a three box vertical and I really, really loved that planner and I used it for work, but it was just too big at that time for work. But anyways, um, lined vertical layout. Um, I should change this. This is the OG glam girl layout. So as you can see, 
This planner was really, really pretty. I do, like, I am one of those people that wish they would bring back this layout, like these thin lines, not necessarily the scallops, but these, um, no offense to any OG glam girl cult lovers, cause you guys are low key kind of crazy. Um, but not necessarily the scallops, like the OG glam girl was a very, very, very pretty planner, but if they could just bring back these lines exactly like this, like spacing and everything in this, and this thin, um, divider line yes perfect but um yeah they haven't done that yet and <clears throat> yeah I'm I'm with the OG glam girl people who say that uh the new glam girl is is just that's that's not what they asked for so and I say they because yeah I wasn't hollering for it but I am just gonna throw my opinion out there because yeah nobody asked me but I said it anyway. Anyways, so this is all of the teacher checklists that I have at hand. And then this is like different pieces of the budget. I never used this page. Um, I might have used it once in the way beginning when I started doing my budget planner with Happy Planner. Um, and it did help me to get my um, expenses under control. I just kind of like whited out all of the stuff or I used it um, as is in the very beginning. But I eventually whited out this stuff and wrote my own stuff. Um, and it did help. Um, it did help um, when I first started and I was tracking all of my expenses. Um, to date, I don't use this anymore because I bu I budget very differently just because I have my, like I know what's going out and I know what's coming in. And then this is some of the student layout. And then the um, monthly extension packs of the monthly layout. And then some of the extension packs of the dashboard layout. So that is for the most part, what is in here, what its function is. If you ever see it in one of my videos, this is very difficult to close for one. Okay, this is what that is. Okay, so this right here is basically my, um, my meal planner binder thing. So this houses all of my meal plan half sheets and then I just stick whatever um, plans, like meal plans I use back here, just in case, you know, I need something quick and like already done, then I save them to just go back to them if ever needed. And then this right here, I have no idea. Oh, it is my recipe keeper, my untouched recipe keeper, but it's absolutely beautiful. This is the back cover. Um, the front cover is, I have no clue where it is right now, but yeah. <laughs> okay. And then these are all of the, um, 2020 planners that I'm using. I think maybe like two or three of them are planners that I'm using right now, but for the most part, these are all of the 2020 planners I will be using. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in a card up here for you to check out what um, planners I will be using in 2020. Oh, I should say that all the desks that you've seen so far in this video are all from Ikea. So I picked them up at different points in time and this is my oldest desk. So thus you see that it is the most banged up, but I love this desk. Okay, so this right here is where I keep all of my other planner essentials, I guess. So I recently cleaned this out. It used to be all office supplies, but I recently changed it out um, when I redid my whole office setup. So this is what it is right now. All of my discs, extra discs that I have right now are going in here. So all of my metal discs up front by size. Um, extender disc, plastic, uh, classic disc, and then plastic mini disc. And then right here are all shaped paper clips. So you see that's an ice cream cone. And then these are 
just decorative binder clips and then these are uh paper magnets i don't know i don't know what they're officially called but they're all magnets so these don't work that well so i never use them um, these right here, I absolutely love because I just stick them on to basically flip my planner to the page that I want. Um, because I do use dashboards to separate my planner, but not that much because yeah, I'll go into that another time. Okay. So I have rulers right here on the side and then, um, I have two sets of classic, a rainbow metal disc and I'm actually doing something with these so yeah just ignore those right now and then these are basically um can you see that these are basically like your clip-in um like if you want to put a picture or something on this um and then stick it in your uh in your planner or uh just, I don't know, something you want to stick in your planner, you can stick it to this, like a sticky adhesive tab, I think is what those are called. Um, so yeah, I bought like a, a little thing of them and yeah. And then this one is from, I think a sticky notes that came in a planner that I'm just repurposing. And then this right here are the tabs that I used in my 2020 setup. Um, video and they're actually really good these little white parts are very thick and they are repositionable um and I like them so far these this is very long so I actually end up cutting them in half or in thirds and using them that way because yeah this part right here this tab is very long if you need that then that's okay but I usually abbreviate on my tabs so um but these tabs right here, I think I got from, um, you know, like that little dollar spot in Joann's or something like it has all of the uh, paper accessories. This is basically where I got this from and I've been using the heck out of these. So I was using these and putting my, um, I was using these as my tabs in my folder. Um, and then I, I was like, okay, I want something a little bit sturdier because these are just paper and the stickiness after a while they just like move but as like inexpensive tabs I really love these so um yeah so now I'm using these but I'll probably find something um smaller that I could just use that I don't have to cut and then these are all my page flags underneath I just keep right there for whenever I use it. And then um, these right here are basically uh, what I use to keep my sticker books together. So they're just like basically, um, what are these officially called? O-rings, jump rings? I don't know, it doesn't have a name on there, but they're kind of like, they're not meant for planners, but I use them for my planners and you'll see. I mean, I use them for my sticker books and you'll see in a second. So this is my big punch, happy planner punch, my wax paper. Uh, this wax paper is like the goat and yeah, you for pre planning stickers. Yeah, you can't beat it. And then this right here just has some um, Sharpie. Oh, oil based markers. So if you want to make like a DIY mug and you want to write on it and then bake it and then you have your own mug. Yeah, that whole little phase that came out a while ago, but I still have the pen. So this is my cart. These are all of the sticker books that I own. They are. Yeah, there's like there's none anywhere else. And this is just a regular um, Rascog cart from Ikea. I'm not going to go through it because I do want to do it like a separate, um, sticker book, uh, planner cart tour, even though there's nothing really on my planner cart. Um, but I do want to do like how I organize my stickers type of video. So this right here, um, these used to be, um, stuck to the side of my cart, but yeah, my son always got to them and the tops kind of like, come off very easily with touch. 
So um, just like it will pop off and just, yeah. And all of the stuff, like I used to keep the shape paper clips in these and then the magnetic paper clips, but again, my son got to them and they will always spill all over the floor. So yeah, that got old real fast. So um, now I have them on the side of this filing cabinet. And these are all of the paper pads that uh, had, that are one festive um, that I own that I stuck on the side of my um, filing cabinet. So basically when I'm sitting at this desk and I need like something bigger than the little notes um, pad that I showed you, I'll reach over here and I grab one of these off of here and then I'll use it as a little notes pad. And then again, that's where the little notes came from. But um, all of these are from the Target dollar spot and they have the magnet on the back. And they're all Christmas themed because I am recording this video in December. So that's why they're all Christmas themed. And then right here, the top of my filing cabinet. Um, this filing cabinet, I got from a previous coworker. She was so gracious enough to give it to me. Thanks, Ro. And um, yeah, I'm using this to store all of like my extra supplies, you'll see. Um, this right here is just a whole bunch of washi that I don't want or use, but I've yet to like throw away because I'll let my son play with them because he loves, like sometimes I'll plan on the floor with him while he plays and then he'll crawl over or, hey, walking now, he's walking now, guys. Um, but anyways, um, he'll walk over and he'll try to take like my washi tape. So instead of giving him my good washi tape, I'll give him one of these. So that's why I haven't thrown them away. And of course, Bath & Body Works candles going. Um, this I think I got from Dollar Tree at one point in time or a 99 cent store, one of them. These are uh, Project Life binders. This one I'm doing for um, my son's first year, which is, um, I'm going, he was born in 2018, December 2018, but I'm doing like his first year. So this is gonna be a 2019 binder. This is our wedding binder that has like two pictures in it because I yeah, am terrible and I haven't done our, our wedding album yet. And then this is basically my inbox, outbox, um, and don't let that one piece of mail fool you. That thing is absolutely full. I just took it out for the video. Um, Let's see, this is really hard to film on this iPad. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. So this right here, I collect um, keychains. So whenever I go to a new place, I collect keychains and that is my collection so far. Some people bring me back keychains from their travels and um, I'll put them with my collection. And um, these right here are deluxe, um, classic covers that I picked up from the Mambi warehouse because I'm only a couple, well, <laughs> I'm even further away from them now, but I used to only be like maybe two hours from them. And I just went to the warehouse sale that happened like a couple months ago um, this year. And then this is just like a uh, one of those, like you stick the letters on them type of boards. I forget the name of it. And then this is just a giraffe, so like a metal magnetic giraffe that I think I got from Target um, because my favorite animal is giraffe with dolphins following in a very, very, very close second. All right, so I'm gonna open up this drawer and show you how I organize stuff. So again, this is a filing cabinet, uh, but I don't use it as such. This right here, actually, let me turn this around so you don't see my address. This um, this right here is a um, Aaron Condren box. It has my daily inserts that I've been meaning to unbox with you guys. I just haven't done it yet. And it houses, uh, it's just um, the October through December 2019 inserts. So it's like dang near mid-December right now. So I'm low-key not in a rush to unbox this, but I will eventually and then redate them for 2020. 
<clears throat> and then give you guys my opinion of how I like them. But anyways, this is the rest of like my Miss Maker planner, the rest of my student planner, and the rest of a uh, faith planner that I had. So I keep those right there. Um, so that's basically uh, any unused parts of planners. And I eventually tend to um, intend to take these planners apart and add them to here just so um, I could free up those discs because there are there like that one right there is the homebody and it has gold metal discs. So um, I am using that for 2020. So I need somewhere to put that planner when it's not on disc and it will go in here so I can have those gold metal discs. Okay, so this right here, um, what is this? Nothing, we're gonna ignore that. Okay, so this right here is why I really wanted this filing cabinet from my previous coworker. Um, this basically houses all of my extra stuff. So as I showed you over here is where I keep a little bit of the stuff that I have so I can keep it at hand. Oh, I didn't show you guys what's back there. We'll come back to that. Um, and this is where I keep the rest of it. So this is all of my filler paper, um, all of my lined filler paper. This is all of my blank filler paper. This is all of my grid filler paper. And then this is all of my dot grid filler paper. And then what else is in here? And then this right here is all of the extra dividers from old planners. So like, see, this one is from the Glam Girl. This is this one is from, I think, a budget extension pack. This is from a wrong, wrong um, happy notes. So all of the dividers that I'm not using um, are going in here and then this right here are all of the happy planner covers that i'm not using so again my intention is to break down these planners and whatever i'm not using like the covers and all of that i plan to put them in here so that i can franken plan to my heart's desire without having to be uh, inconvenience because I need to keep the 2020 planners on disc and covers and all that stuff. So I want to break them down and then put it in here. So this is all of my hard snap in covers. Is there anything back here? No. And then right here is where I'm keeping all of my unopened, unused type of things. So so this right here is big project fill paper. I want to say, no, I lied. I completely lied. I do have that though, but this is just a big fill paper. Yeah. So the colorful fill paper like that. So I saw those for like a super good deal. They were like 80% off at Michael's or something. So, um, this is the project a uh, big paper that I was saying. So I just picked them up. I don't use a big planner, but I do want to use one because I, I have them, they're right here. Um, I do want to use them for uh, just like a notebook of some kind. So whenever we get to updating our house, I want to put that together. So this is the sticker storage book that um, I do want to use. I do want to do a video on that, on how I put that together. I just haven't gotten to it yet. This is a mini deluxe cover that I'm not using. This right here is the, uh, what do you call it? Like the baby boy. Um, the thing, one of the notebooks that came out with the kids line that Happy Planner did. And yeah, it has giraffes and it's boy themed and I have a little boy. Oh my gosh, it was so perfect when it came out. I was like, yes, I think I was pregnant at the time. And I was like, um, yes, give it to me, I don't care. I don't know if I knew the sex at the time of my baby, but I was like, either way, I don't care, give it to me, hash giraffes. So this notebook, this is just a um, happy notes. I just love the cover. So yeah, I picked that one up when um, all of the, I think it went on clearance, but um, 
you guys will come to know that I absolutely love like dry humor and um, sarcasm and it's just, I don't know why, <laughs> but I love it. But yeah, this one is another Happy Notes that went on clearance that I picked up. This right here is the big wrong wrong Happy Notes. Um, again, I don't plan in a big, but that one was too cute, so I had to pick it up. This one right here, I just love the uh, cover and stuff. So um, this is when, I think these were one of, like it has, what did Hannah call this in her live, her recent lives, a belly band? I was so cracking up when I um, heard that. So anyways, this planner right here was probably one of the first, um, lined verticals that came out and I forgot the name of this planner it's probably life is an adventure um type of thing but anyways um I really liked this and at the time I think this was the only uh size they had I think they remade this one but I'm not tripping I will find a use for that planner but right now like I said I don't plan in a big so I'll find some use for it and then I picked this cover up this is a big hard cover um that I picked up from the Mambi warehouse sale and then this is one of the first planners that I picked up I think I picked this up back in 2017 it is a mini um undated 12 month planner that came in one of their box kits. And I believe this is like one of the first planners um, that they came out with, with like the real pictures. I don't know how to describe like the aesthetics of it, but when they use like they photograph, they photograph real things um, and then they make the aesthetics out of it. I don't know what that thing is called, but I love planners like that. And then this right here is just a gold deluxe cover um, that I'm not currently using. Um, it would be up here, but I threw away the packaging of it, so it's not up there anymore, but whatever. And then in this drawer, I have, um, I recently picked this up, which is basically a big old tub of erasable friction markers. So, um, all black. So this right here is just like my planner essentials overflow. So I was using these tags to kind of like, um, organize my sticker books, but I'm no longer using those. These are just some white circle sticky notes or sticky dots. And then this is just a package of, um, pin loops that I got from Amazon. This right here is um, label maker tape that the label maker that this goes to broke. So I just kept the tape and um, what I'll do before Happy Planner started printing on the top of their, uh, their uh, sticker books, I at one point wrote on this and I, was, and I stuck it to it, but once I got my white jelly roll pins, I just used those to write on top of my sticker books. Um, and then this is a large case of, this needs to focus, of Tombow adhesive and then some Tombow, I'm sorry, Tombow white out. And then this is the adhesive. And then these are just some sticky notes that um, I've yet to stick over there in my uh, little sticky note thingy thing. And then these are the adhesive tabs from Target. Um, if you know, you know. And then these are some, um, oh, like journaling cards. So grateful for um, today, I'm grateful for, yeah. So yeah, I use those mostly in my faith planner. And then these are the long adhesive tabs from Target. And then these right here is where I keep the rest of the journaling pads, like the, the what do I call these? The, the pads that I put together a little bit over there. This is where they actually are, like the real ones are. So the full, ones and then my happy planner half sheets so that's where I keep those and then this is 
basically all of the office supplies that I kept in that uh, drawer right there. And I'm sorry if you're getting dizzy from all the back and forth, but I'm just trying to show you. And then those are blank notepads that I got from the tar Target dollar spot. And then these I recently picked up from Walmart. It says just the girl boss building her empire. And I really liked it because it's black and gold foil. I love those colors. And then this has a giraffe on it. It's irrelevant what it says. I didn't care. It had a giraffe on it with gold foil. I was buying it. No questions. I don't care. It could have said something like boo boo the food and I still would have picked it up because it has a draft on it. So anyways, this is um, a punch, a paper punch that I got from I think Michaels. When I first started planning, I used to just use graph paper and then I used to punch it and then put it in my uh, put it in my planner. So this is a classic Happy Planner punch. This is the big box punch. I have the classic one too. It's on my um, planner cart. And then this is a hot glue gun. This is the printer paper and ink to my selfie printer. And then these are my thermal laminating pouches to my laminator. So that's what's in that drawer. So in this drawer is basically... Um, I already went through this part, but I had to cut it out because I just realized that my address was showing on some stuff over here. So, um, yeah, so basically, again, this side is just cards and then ink, um, stamping ink and then stamps. And then that is a Crocodile 2. I bought it from my Etsy shop, realized I didn't need it. And yeah, it's been sitting like collecting dust ever since I haven't made the effort to figure out what else I could use it for yet. So, um, yeah, if one of you have this, let me know what you use it for. But right now for me, it's just collecting the dust. And then these are my clear ink stamp pad things. I don't know what, what you call it, but you basically put the ink cling on here so that you can like ink it up and then use it to stamp. That's what that is. I don't know the proper name. I am blinking right now, but yeah, this is like all of my ink and stamps. I don't really stamp that much cause it's time consuming, but um, I do like the process. And as you can see, I have a little bit of a collection. Um, I have like some of the Happy Planner ones back here. So yeah, so one day I will get to that. Basically this right here, this drawer, or not this drawer, this little part right here is collecting all of like my memorandum that I want to use for my Project Life binders. And then um, this is a whole bunch of uh, real simple magazines um, that I was collecting to put together a uh, vision board, but got overwhelmed from the whole process and I never finished it. These, this is my project life side. So these are all of the project life kits that I have. And then, um, this is like a photo album box where I'm collecting again, a lot of memorandum that I want to use for my photo, uh, not photo album, my, yeah, my project life albums that I will get to one day, but yeah. Okay, so in this drawer, we'll do like a little overview. So this basically is all of the planners and stuff that I used before I went to Happy Planner. So it wasn't that long before I, like from the time that I started to when I discovered Happy Planner. So this collection isn't that big. Um, this right here is just a planner tote type of thing that I recently picked up from Hobby Lobby. And um, I wanna do like a little DIY because this does not come with straps, just like the little handle on the top. And I like all my bags to come with straps. So um, I'm gonna do like a little DIY with that. So again, um, this is just like non Happy Planner stuff that I started off with. So like this is my, I think this is my 2017 planner um, and I, yeah, that's gonna be a whole video. I'll do that another time. But again, this is non-Happy Planner stuff that I started off with before coming to the Happy Planner. 
And this right here is giveaway stuff. Oh, I said I was gonna go back here. Okay. So we'll do this part really quick because I know this video is long and if you are still watching this video, kudos to you for sticking with me. So this back here, so this is old planners. So archive planners, I think is what the community calls them. So like this is my old uh, 2018 planner. I had the glam girl and yeah. So I need to archive these ones and I am gonna do a video about how I archive like what I do with my old planners type things but just know they are right here for right now and this right here is a couple of um scrapbook like paper pads yeah that's what they're called so let me get in here so you can like really see so this was my this one right here was a like file effects clip book something something like that um, that I just basically punched graph paper in and I put it in and I use that as my, uh, as my, uh, what do you call that thing? Bullet journal. So I started off with bullet journaling and quickly found out that I was too lazy for bullet journaling because I didn't want to draw that stuff every week. So, and I'm not a good drawer or what do you call it? I'm not an artist at all. So, um, like I can, I can draw stick people and, you know, a little, uh, little stick house, but that's probably as good as it's going to get freehand. So yeah, I could trace the mess out of some stuff though. Like give me something to trace. I'll trace it to, you don't even know. Anyways. Um, yeah, so that's old planners. And then down here are all of the paper pads that I have. Anyways. <clears throat> that is what is back there. I'm gonna push this cart back in its spot. And then that is where I house my planner cart. So whenever I want, like I like my planner cart to be right next to me. So I'll pull it out and push it right here or I'll pull it out and then push it right next to my filming desk so I can have everything at hand while I'm filming. filming. And yeah, that is a tour of my office setup right now. So yeah. Alrighty. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.